even as the Philippines breached the 8 million mark of administered doses of COVID-19 vaccine, President Rodrigo Duterte on Monday said he would not gamble school children's health by allowing the resumption of face-to-face -face classes. The president disapproved the proposal of Department of Education or DepEd to resume face-to-face -face classes even in areas with low risk of COVID-19 transmission, citing the threat posed by the Delta variant. Let's take a look. Uh, dito sa uh, face to face uh, I, I think uh, I am not uh, inclined to agree with you I, I'm sorry but uh, uh, my, my hirap, I, I, I cannot uh, I cannot gamble on the, the health of the, the children I hope you'd understand to a uh, basis for the depth ed um, position on the matter of, of opening of classes and and face to face, uh, one of course which we consider very uh, heavily is the impact on the economy because education and the economy are closely are closely uh, linked. Uh, the second, of course, is the legal basis for the opening of classes um, and all other activities. Uh, we have a law which was passed last year, Mr. President, wherein uh, it is the president upon the recommendation of the Secretary of Education, uh, who will decide on the matter of opening up classes. And I can assure them that uh, uh, we will follow uh, the orders. But at this time of uh, a national emergency, I would just like to inform the courts that I will not follow them. I will insist on what is necessary to protect the people. It is not what the legal book says about, uh, uh, well, the, in the matter of uh, stopping uh, the, the, the protocols, the, the requirements uh, by law. Following the Tertes decision, Briones said DepEd would use technology to deliver classes for the upcoming school year.